So the pictures that you see, um, uh, basically of the most iconic boxing gym in Britain's British boxing's history, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people's opinion. So there was the Thomas a Beckett on the old Kent Road, which is um, you'd probably say that's South London. Uh, so I was there the other week. I was really excited to go. You know, I knew I knew it wasn't a boxing gym anymore. I knew the building was there, um, you know, the heritage would have been there, the history. I knew there was a blue plaque to uh, commemorate Henry Cooper training there for many, many years. And uh, when I got there, I was really saddened. I think there was um, a Viet Vietnamese restaurant at the bottom. Uh, and the gym was like above, um, which I think was a nail bar or something. And I went in and... Uh, as I do, I'm kind of nosy and I'm chatty and I get taught to people and all that. And, you know, I was really saddened to, like, the the current occupiers weren't even aware of uh, the building's history. And this is this was literally the place to be for a British boxer in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. I think it stopped being a boxing gym in the 90s. Um, sorry, if, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. And everyone went in there, you know, and it wasn't just like the British. I mean, Muhammad Ali went in there many times. Um, Paul Sykes bad Smoke and Joe Fraser there in 1973. So it was literally a, a, um, anyone who was anyone to do with British boxing. You know, Mickey Duff was always hovering around the place. And um, I just found it really, really sad, you know, when you lose these kind of buildings i mean don't get me wrong it's uh it's a it's a listed building it can never be knocked down um there's more than a blue plaque actually there's, there's some on the other side that says you know a bit of do henry cooper but it's you know it's it's just really saddens me to think like all the, the history and i'm a great believer in walls kind of carry memories and carry energies and you know to think of the names who've ever been in that building. Um, yeah, I might even maybe go to the 50s as well. But, yeah, it's um, sad. Very, very sad. Um, let us know your comments below. Have you ever been in? Um, I, yeah, I spoke to a few people, like, around it, and everyone was, even though it wasn't a boxing gym now, hasn't been a gym for, like, probably 30 years, 25, 30 years. Everyone kind of local knew what it was and I asked a few people for directions and uh, yeah very very sad the Thomas a Beckett gym it was so it was like a pub and it was like a boxers pub below um, and above it was a small gym uh, as you can probably see some of the pictures you know I dug some footage out of Paul Sykes sparring with um, Joe Fraser in 1973 uh, it might be on our channel actually but I know it was never read you know, we've kind of pulled a few strings and got oh, 56 seconds worth of footage um, and yeah it was just a proper who's who of Lon not London boxing well that as well but British boxing you know them all the all absolute greats every fighter from every generation have been around the Thomas a Beckett Boxing Club uh, let us know your thoughts let us know your comments below uh, I would be interested uh, I'm a big big history buff so um Maybe you've got some stories of being in the Thomas Becker gym yourself. Let us know, guys.